This video is about practicing the double rotation. The video we're gonna see here is about covering the full court as a doubles pair and when to create the rotation between the base player and the net player. So this is a multi-feeding exercise. Use 20 shuttles if you can hold 20 shuttles. If you can hold more, that's fine. Basically what's gonna happen in this exercise is a long lift where the base player are able to hit a straight smash, a shorter lift so the base player can follow up on that and then a short one to the net to so do a follow up, a cross one, and then you create the rotation where the net player rotates behind, getting the same four shuttles. I just want to put some words on the movement for the net player. On the first lift, which is the long one, they should cover quite straight because in that way you cover when, when your base player plays the straight smash, then you're able to, to cover the, the straight net from there. The opponent manages to play a, a, a long lift but not long enough to the baseline, so that's why the net player moves a bit um, to the other side, being able to cover in case a cross flat shot is, is coming. So that's really important um, for the net player to sense what's the length of the shot to the baseline. Should I move in and cover the straight shot or should I move to the side and be able to cover the, the cross one? One thing I'd like you guys to, to focus on when, when doing this, especially when, when you get to the net, is trying to keep your movement as small as possible. We do often see players getting to the net with these uh, big swings. And when they do that, often they either put the shuttle into the net or play it far uh, outside the court. So try really and, and focus on keeping small movements here at the net when you, when you get to it.